Good morning, greetings. Happy Thursday. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to Handbuilt Pottery. All right, we're going to go through our holidays and events first. Today is Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Today is World Kidney Day. Today is Popcorn Lover's Day. Thinking about popcorn, I'm going to support him, but my little 14-year-old uh, nephew just sent me some type of link to buy gourmet popcorn for, for him to support his basketball uh, team with uh, uniforms and I guess what they need for their season. And even though they have all these different flavors of popcorn, like butter, garlic, peanut butter and chocolate, uh, they got caramel with different types of cheese and all kinds of crazy stuff. I said, I'll just go ahead and purchase some to support them, but I don't eat popcorn because I can't stand those little holes or little shells getting in your teeth. Like, I love popcorn, but I just can't take that. However, today's Popcorn Lover's Day, if you love popcorn, paper money day. Um, and popcorn is pretty healthy for you as, as a snack. You know, it's not too heavy and everything, something like National Women and Girls HIV AIDS Awareness Day. Today is National Ranch Day, as in ranch dressing. Today is National Pack Your Lunch Day. I used to love when my mom packed the lunch for us to go to school. Either it didn't matter if it was in that brown paper bag or the actual, when the lunch boxes came out with the little thermos and everything. Of course, those were cute because they had little characters and everything, but either way, it was just so special and nice to have something homemade from mom. All right, National Blueberry Popover Day. Today is National Landline Telephone Day. Who, who's, now who in the world still got a landline? Uh, <laughs> even well, even though I said, I was like, I already know who both say, yeah. But actually that's such a special and different thing in these times. Um, all right, today is Name Tag Day. Mario Day, as in Mario Brothers, the video game. International Day of Awesomeness. So whatever you display in your personality today, make sure it's awesome. All right, International Bag Pipe Day. And today is Histo Technology Professionals Day. And wow, this is one of my uh, idols. And I dressed up as her doing the photo recreation for the Black History uh, program. Today is Harriet Tubman Day. Woo! Sister Harriet Tubman, a strong Black sister right there. All right. So y'all know we're getting straight into our bust, of course. And if you have any questions or concerns, or as we go along, you got anything to say, just please feel free to ask. And we have over here we had a couple people that left today y'all see mr van dyke howard hey <laughs> so he's usually in our virtual class but he's lucky and i'm blessed and he's blessed to be up here with me to socialize and even though he doesn't realize how much he's very intent in his work he likes to just focus and concentrate and even when i get in his way sometimes he tell me to move girl go get out the way, get out the way. <laughs> all right so right now i'm going to go ahead and work on this nose so i realized i had to reposition and put some more clay on her head and her on the top of her head and her chin because the once i actually i'm gonna be doing my bust from this photo right here. And you can see it's almost about the same size. And once I started doing the measurements, I realized that I was so off that I didn't know if my nose was in the right position, but I think I pretty much got it pretty good now to go ahead and start. So, so far I've attached one nostril on the side, which is not perfectly like my mom's nostril, but as I continue to get more features on there, then I can play with everything, and, you know, work on it. 
So right now I'm just gonna, the way that her nostril is, I would usually just generally make a small ball about the size that I think that her nostril is and cut it in half and put the two balls on the side. But she has like, I would say, I don't wanna call it meat or fat or flesh, but she has more flesh here on the sides. So what I did, I actually rolled, I actually rolled a, like a teardrop shape. With the, and so I started rolling one side to make it uh, home and the other side of the other end is going to be round like a ball. Like so. And that ball needs to go smaller because it looks like that nostril on that side isn't that large. And even though I'm still making it just a little bit larger than what it would normally be because I can always scale down and even I can also always add. So just looking at her nostril and that the flesh on the side of her face, I'm gonna kind of just sit the nostril here even from the front view you can see how that's looking but first I want to grab my water bottle I need some moisture right there before I just stick that on my face all right and so Looking at my picture and also seeing how much I need to smash the clay onto the face to get that same uh, look at, of the fat right here in this area. So I'm just kind of smashing it out and I'm really just going to kind of put that off. All right, now we're going to work that into the face. And you all know, hopefully uh, you all, I, I just thought that uh, I'm going to do the most important parts of the building in front of you in class. However, I'm going to have to do a lot of work on my own to get this finished by May. But however, you still will get all the assistance that you need. And so right now, I'm just going to kind of score this down to the level of the bridge of the nose. And a lot of that clay is going to disappear. I also have her, the width of her nose measured so that I won't make it too wide or too skinny, so to speak. I'm just gonna spray that and smooth it in. and take off as well. So far, that's what this is looking like. I also noticed that the bridge of my mom's nose, and it's probably because I'm familiar with her face as well, um, if not probably for the doctor, 
and they say babies can't even see that good. I'm just almost sure that the first person I probably ever saw really was my mom. So that's like a person, even if you don't think you know all the features of that person's face, if you were to see some replica of your parent and something was off, you probably be able to say, hold on, that ain't my daddy. My daddy is stuck out more or he had a scar up under his eye or something to that nature. However, the bridge of my mom's nose isn't kind of like dip. It's more straight out. So I'm going to have to add some clay there. And I'm going to just make it going flat into the forehead like so. Yeah. All right. And so then we're just going to make that go around the sides. Like so. But keep the bridge coming down into the bulb of her nose. We used to always tease uh, my mom. Well, I don't have my mom's nose, but I used to tease my sister, my mom all the time, me and my brother. Me and my brother have more pointy nose. My mom and my sister have thicker, thicker, bigger noses. And then I had this line right here where my nose stops right below my brows and I just want to keep that uh, keep that particular uh, marking for the proportion. All right so now I'm just going to kind of smooth all that together and we pretty much have our shape of our nose and I'm going to smooth that out Although as I continue to add her features, like her eyes, her cheeks, and her lips, everything will uh, change because you'll be able to see certain features and compare it to the photo to be able to change it as things get more uh, put together. So I'm just smoothing it out. And what I think I'm gonna do today, I do have time, is to go ahead and add one cheek or two. And the reason why I say two is because all I have to do is roll uh, whatever size or shape ball out that I want and cut it in half. So that will already make me have two instead of making one thing at one, making two things at one separate times. All right. So I just kind of wanted to find smooth that with a brush and it's not like it's not going to get re-messed up it's just that I want to keep everything together in steps as I go I'm going to sponge that one time and then we're going to put the jaws or cheeks on all right so I'm going to kind of bathe that a little you know really wet And then I'm going to put the cheeks on. It looks like I'm using, and it's not on purpose, two different types of clay or colors of clay, but it's okay at the end of the day, it's all gonna come out white. All right. And so some of the things that really protrude will really change your face. Like really what really protrudes on your face are the cheeks and the forehead. So once I really get to that point, a lot of things may have to change, but as it pertains to someone who's building out there that are um, not using a the photo, then as long as your features look how you, uh, features look how you kind of envision them as you're working, then you're good. All right, so I'm back to the center of the face. And I'm looking at my mom's cheeks. And really, since she's smiling, there's only about this much of a circle or a ball, so to speak. So although I'm trying to not to get this copy dirty. Also, even though this is a circle here, here you have uh, 
you have uh, flesh or fat in the face that really makes the shape like a teardrop. If you see me circling around the shape. So now what I'm going to basically do is get clay to make a teardrop shape. And we're going to slap that, slap those cheeks on her face and work them in. So the balls, I think, are probably, you know, once again, they may be too large or too small, but if they're too small, I can add. But I always try to go for making it a bit larger to take the clay away. So I'm just kind of beating this clay together. And let me just keep this camera here to interact with the young people. Do y'all have any questions about anything? So y'all know we're starting to build up our uh, beautiful images and everything for all the Americas month coming up May. I have a photo set up here at the center. If anybody wants to bring their artwork to get photos taken, you more than welcome. So this ball, of course, is way too large, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it down right quick. So my student, you know, I'm basically doing virtual and uh, this on-site class at the same time. And I just wanna give my student a tip or corner. Sir, don't you know at some point, uh, you know your shoes are looking really, really, really good. And so once you get so high or whatever, you see the one thing is, you know, you see how this hangs because hang, hang, you, you got to level it up to make sure that you're all this time. Okay, one thing I want to say is make sure that heel coming out right too. Okay. And once you get to a certain point, all that slip that's going to slip on the side is really going to help you. What you want to do is get a brush. You see how the brush is clean. If the brush is get, if the brush is get grouped up, you want to hit it so you can get that out. But this will, I want to go back and forth. It'll smooth out, and you know, I'm not bracing it in the inside, but probably in the inside. So, wow, I need to do that. Okay. See, once the clay gets up, that's what's going to smooth it every time. All right. Okay, so I'm taking my cup. You can use the brush. You got a cup of water? Yes, ma'am. Don't be trying to kick me out, out of your class, Mr. Van Dyke. <laughs> Don't make me plan. Uh-huh. I know you need one. Kid, what time is lab tomorrow? 9.30? 9 o'clock to 10. Oh, okay. La lab? Open, Your studio? Open studios from 9 to 10. Okay. Thank you. So what does that mean, Miss Wendelin? If I don't have time to finish, I'm still a little late. <laughs> I need to come and paint. Okay, well, what I'm trying to say to you is that you have to get permission to come to Open Studio. Oh, uh, uh, Miss Kim, may I come to lab tomorrow? Yes, and are you going to show up? Yes, at 9 o'clock, be a little early. No problem. Well, they ain't going to let you in till 9 o'clock, so. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I need to paint. All right, I'm almost finished, young ladies. So do I need to sign in tomorrow, or do or they got the computer up? Sign in my class. Oh, they're going to do that at the front desk. They're going to do everything you need to before you even come in back. OK. Then you come back in, you sign in for the class. OK. All right, I'm almost finished, young ladies. Y'all probably can see what you can see with your hand back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are you all today? Hey, Mr. Van Dyke. Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. What you working on? Uh, I'm working on a pair of shoes, thank you. Oh, okay. You love your shoes. In this class, we're <laughs> going to do miniature coiled projects. And since he's doing a series of different shoes, 
he just decided to do a miniature set of coiled shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We back to the cheek. And as you can see, I have something that looks like a teardrop or a pendulum. Y'all don't look at that too long, you might get hypnotized. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as far as I'm seeing, this is still too large, but what I'm gonna just do is just cut it in fours. So I'm gonna cut this in half so you all can see. Put it on the face. Yep, I'm going to cut a, a third off of that. That looks pretty good. And then I want to cut it down a little too thick. And that's much better. All right, so what I'm going to do is use this to cut the same piece out of the other side for the other cheek. There it is. All right, so I'm just going to apply those and since I started class a, a bit about five minutes late, we're going to go ahead and let it go five minutes over. And so, looking at her photo, looking at the cheek, and it sits about right here. It has a little curve on it. And come up into the nose, so to speak. And that goes really flat right there, so I'm just going to kind of break that off. Actually, all of this is kind of on the flat side, so I'm scraping all of that. And then the cheek is shorter than what this is, so I want to put a piece of this out and then place it back. And then it's a little too high once again, so cutting the back off of it. And that's good. And the reason why I gave it a curve on that side is because as you can see, up under this eye, there's a curve. And what I was doing is creating that shape right there. And so right now, before I actually uh, smooth all that in, I'm going to place the other side too thick. And then cut a little bit of that out. All right, so that one is curved as well. Looking from the front view, cheek is about right there. And that's good. All right, so I'm gonna smooth these cheeks in and we'll conclude from there for today. I think I took a little bit too much fat away right here. So now I'm just going to score that in and work it as I'm looking at her face. That's really low right there. This comes around and down. And her cheek comes over. And this part here is a line. And so on around the sides of this 
raised cheek, what I'm doing is just bringing the whole piece leveled, but down around on the sides. All right, and so from there, all I have to do is smooth that cheek in. Hey, Tisha. Hello, hey, how are you? That's one who's on my bed. That's Linda. Yeah. How you doing? And so I'm smoothing that. Just pressing it till I get everything smooth. And when you rub it, if you feel your face, uh, if you feel your face, you'll see that it's rolling smooth with your skin. You don't feel like humps and lumps and, and uh, hot holes, that type of thing. So you want the your fingers to glide smooth over the uh, bust as well as you created it. Especially like around his nose in certain areas. All right. Even though so much other flesh has to be added around there, pretty much I got the cheek on here. Which I know it looks weird because there's so much missing around the other areas. All right, so I just want to smooth that. And so far, this is what this cheek is looking like from the front. So I'm going to attach the other one. And so, Miss Gwen and Miss Gloria, I was going to be firing today or tomorrow, but since you are actually painting something, Miss Gwendolyn, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. So, possibly, if you do finish your piece, it'll be able to go into the kiln. Okay. Ma'am. I'll okay. be bringing a couple of pieces with me too when I come tomorrow. No problem. All right. So, I'm smoothing this side. And when it's all like chunked up like that, you have to smooth more in a circle of motion to make sure to push everything together and get that air out. If there's air in it, which I'm sure it probably is because the way that it's all been put on and that type of thing. And right here beside the nose and the uh, nostril, oh, sorry, the nostril and the cheek right there actually goes your laugh lines. You know, we always see our laugh lines and we uh, always got something to say about, you know, our face, uh, what we don't like, what we do like, wrinkles, that type of thing. It's all part of life. So I'm just going to see. The next laugh line is about right 
here. I'm just making it the same. Best I can now. And I'm going to smooth that out. And we're going to conclude class from there. Okay. Yeah, because... um. So once again, what I was saying was once the next time you see this bus, it won't be completely done, definitely. But I'm going to be having to work some on my own. The class is only 30 minutes, and I don't have like... A, I, 30 minutes is not going to give me some of the times that I need to actually execute some of the pieces. So what I'm going to do is if, if, if I go too much on sometimes on the pieces, I'm going to make sure to talk you through what I've done and what I haven't done. So that's that so far. And even she's looking totally different. Then she did with just the nose. Now she looks like she even starting to uh, come up with a smile almost. So again, once, like I said, once you continue to add different features to the face, you will be able to change things and see things there because everything will be coming together. So you have to do things in parts, but the first and foremost thing you wanna do is the center of the face of the proportion, which is the nose. And you don't have to measure as it pertains to uh, you doing it from scratch. But however, when you put that nose on, you do want to have enough space for everything that goes in the top portion of the face, which is the eyes, the forehead, and the hair. And then below the nose, you want to have enough space. We always, uh, sometimes people make, make always omit the space between the nose and the lip. And when I put my finger there, Usually it's about a finger's length. And some people got really long top lips. So, you know, everybody got different proportions, but however, you wanna keep the space, enough space for your above the lip, your two lips and your chin. So uh, be mindful of that. And um, are there any questions? No. Any Anybody thought about some things or one project that we can do as a group to make for Older Americans Month? Like one thing, if we get finished, I would love to display our busts. We can do, we're gonna display anything that y'all have to display, but I'm just saying as a group, we're gonna display busts and something else. So. Uh, can we do tea pops? Uh, I just, I'm not saying that you can't. You can do teapots individually. The reason why I don't suggest teapots is because I know that it's like different times and different classes, but my class, this class is already done teapots. Okay. And it was like not too long ago. You remember Miss Gloria? Yeah. Like we had some really extraordinary teapots. Like one lady, Miss... Uh, Miss Nora Gavin made a actual teapot that looks just exactly like a toilet stool. And she called it tea teapot. Like you tea tea. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. We need to display those kids. Let's see those. Let them bring them in if we can see them. Man, they were, I mean, I had one lady, she made like a tall cat and the cat was doing like that, the paw and the water comes out of the paw, per se. And I oh, okay. I, I, I did that with our Prince Noah. Miss Gloria made a replica of her dog, mm -hmm. rest his soul, Prince Noah. Uh, she did a replica of her dog that looked exactly like him. He just sitting like that with his paw, and you pour the water out of his paw. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, people made, we made so many different teapots. Miss Regina made an actual a head, but it was a man and lady on one side, one man and one lady, and it was like a tele. They was joined to like a telephone, and it was like on the back of their heads was the words that they were saying on the phone. The guy called, the girl was trying to get a date or something, and then the lady was answering. <laughs> but that was really really cute. 
Oh, and one of the even unique teapots that we made was uh, one lady, if you can believe it, she actually made a Louis Vuitton pocketbook that was a teapot, and she had two change purses, which were Louis Vuitton change purses that were the teacups. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, did you ever make a teapot, Miss Linda? What did you make? I'm saying, you know, we made out of different teapots in here. Like I Nora had, had made a toilet school teapot. Yeah, I remember that. You didn't ever make a teapot? Uh, oh. But we had so many different teapots in here. That's why if I were to say, let's make teapots, I generally have the same group of people. People going to say, we already did that. So, okay, I understand. As an individual, I would be glad to assist you in making your own teapot. And however, I just want to say uh, I've been writing down some projects. The reason, of course, I have many ideas to give you all to make your second piece for the show. And I'm probably going to have to give you all a project to do because when I ask you all, I don't really see anybody say anything. It's, it's no problem. But so far, and I just want to give you all the opportunity to say something rather than me giving y'all projects all the time. However, so far, just think about these if you all are interested. I said that you all could, everybody could make a different dessert. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. And the way it'd be displayed, somebody would be so hungry thinking that it's desserts all over the tables. And you know some crazy person go touch it thinking that they could actually, yeah. Or, or, or a piece of, or, or some food like that. They actually want a piece of my cake. A piece of a fish sandwich. A fish sandwich. A fish sandwich. Oh, yeah. Or you can uh, make a uh, uh, leg. Well, that matter, I could just be broad and say make a food. Right. But I was just trying to narrow it down to say I got a dessert. I got make a gift. Like, what would you give somebody as a gift? Would it be a bouquet of flowers? Would it be a little bottle of perfume? You know. It'll be a I have make your favorite toy or character. Like SpongeBob SquarePants or uh, Munchie Chi, uh, Big Bird, you know, something like that. I have make a cocktail or beverage, any beverage you can think of. It can be a Pepsi, uh, a Jack Daniels on ice, it can be <laughs> a martini, it can be a milkshake, it can be a root beer float. <coughs> I don't know, but. So far, those were some of the uh, things I, oh, and I also had another one I had said I was going to, however you all wanted to make them, it doesn't even have to be three-dimensional, but I was going to say, how about if I gave everybody a project to choose a flower and make a flower? And now the flower, however you want to display it, it could be in a vase, it could be on a plaque, it could be on a, a like a fake shirt, I don't know. But I was going to say everybody could make a flower or make a bird. Everybody choose a different bird and make it. You can you can scratch the bird into a flat piece of clay. You can make the bird three-dimensional. You could just make a bird head. It's up to you, you know. So uh, I don't know. Once we have a little bit more people in class, I guess we'll choose what we're going to actually make second. And if you all, I don't know if you've jotted those ideas down, but if you have any more ideas, I'll be glad to take them. And if you feel good about something that I've already said, then um, that's what we're going to do. So make a dish like a pie dish or something like that, like a casserole dish. Yeah, I would just think of uh, some kind of food item, whether it be a dessert or casserole. Y'all can do any food item you like. That was, so, so far, it looks like we're leaning towards maybe mm -hmm. some food items. That'd be nice. And like y'all know, I had asked people to make food items for the kitchen, which I don't know if we're gonna even use them again, but I know so far we, look at this. Don't get, oh, that's don't, neat. Don't get hungry now. <laughs> Did they ever hang them up? No, because you know, COVID and everything. And I never, we never actually, everybody never finished their piece of meat or whatever I asked y'all to make. But even though if these are not made as it pertains to a uh, wind chime,
then we will definitely use them in some form. Or I remember doing fruit. I did grapes. That's me. That's longer. <laughs> <laughs> Near the camp. <laughs> that longer standing next to you. Yeah, that's Miss Linda. Yeah, I remember doing the grapes. We did some. I think you had broken down by class, vegetables and fruit. Hey. Put your head down here. Hey, you know sometimes tarot them and not them be in the class uh-huh they're gonna be like why is you letting them to play on the virtual class uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she playing <laughs> yeah i remember doing no we got put together but like maybe the meats and stuff didn't get put together because it's not finished but this had bananas watermelon I like that. Pineapple, grapes, cherries, an apple, and a pear. And and I, I thank Miss Vicky Bundridge for putting this together. However, I don't know why. I ain't even tell her to put this together all in one line. It's so long, it'd be going to knock somebody in the head. But she probably know how to put it together where it would be actually in different sections or something. However, we will use that stuff. Some of the, even if y'all were to make fruits and food, I think what I'm going to say is that if you make a fruit or a fruit or food, it can be miniature or the actual size, but it has to be three dimensional. Yeah, okay. to challenge, to challenge out. Yeah, and sometimes too. Yeah, some of this stuff got to be three dimensional. To make so, it real on the table. Okay. What would you like to say, Miss Gwendolyn? But it's something that we just make you put on a fruit bowl, dog on ass. Yeah, I'm saying still it's gotta look three-dimensional to make it look like real fruit in the fruit bowl. Okay. I remember you doing food before with the pizza and all that at the show. Right, right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you did pizza and something like yeah, y'all did a um when you set the table and you had food on the table and with pizza. Oh, I, th- I remember somebody did a cherry pie. I don't remember nothing about no pizza. Yeah, and uh, the sh- I don't know what show it was, but um, I got on my camera, on my phone. Okay. Well, you got the stage now, Miss Linda. They see you now. Say hi. They uh, the camera right here, uh, young lady. <laughs> hey, Miss Bell. Hey, Miss Linda. <laughs> Hi, baby. We ain't got to get all hey. up close. <laughs> no, I'm on probation, so okay. It's, I ain't it's supposed over. to be up here. Thank y'all so much for joining the Handmade Pottery. My name is Kimberly. Thank y'all so much. Y'all okay. right there and have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Thank you. Well <laughs> talk, Linda. That's London for you. That's London. Y'all be safe. <laughs> Y'all have a good day now. Bye. Okay, I'll see you at 9 o'clock, Kim. Bye. Thank (laughs) y'all.